Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard Trial Live, Johnny's excellent bargain tells defamation trial has a jealous and controlling man who once hurled a bottle of wine at her in hotel room before dump Amber Heard's talent agent, Jessica Kovacevic, said Heard was set to earn $2 million for her role in Aquaman 2 before her role was diminished. Jessica Kovacevic, Amber Heard's talent agent, is the next person to take the stand and testify in the Johnny Depp vs. Heard defamation trial via video deposition. Kovacevic said Heard's career was rising following her appearances on Aquaman and that she tried to renegotiate a rise for Heard for the sequel film. Kovacevic claimed Heard was set to earn $2 million for Aquaman 2, but Warner Brothers decided to diminish her role, citing a lack of chemistry between Heard and Aquaman star Jason Momoa. Eric George, Amber Heard's former attorney, said she followed all his legal advice when drafting her 2018 Washington Post op-ed piece describing herself as a domestic abuse victim. Eric George, Amber Heard's former attorney, is the next person to take the stand and testify in the Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard defamation trial via video deposition. Heard had reached out to George to review her 2018 Washington Post op-ed where she described herself as domestic abuse victim. George said he reviewed the op-ed to make sure there were no defamatory statements in the piece and minimize the chance of a lawsuit against her. The lawyer said Heard followed all his legal advice and instructions about the op-ed piece to have it ready and fit for publication. You are being my mother and psychotic sister, Johnny Depp slammed his relationship with Amber Heard while they were together, Depp's psychiatrist claimed. Johnny Depp's former psychiatrist Dr. Alan Blaustein, said the actor struggled with sobriety and that his relationship with Amber Heard reminded him of his days with his mother and sister. Depp told Heard, you are being my mother and psychotic sister, according to messages sent to Blaustein. Depp has previously insulted his mother, Betty Sue Palmer, claiming he suffered a cruel and violent childhood after his father left. He added that Heard had accused Depp of being manic despite the psychiatrist finding no evidence to back up the claim. Dot Blaustein also said Depp came to him with worries that the actor was suffering from paranoia and had initial worries about marrying Heard given their age difference. Depp was 51 at the time while Heard was 29. Johnny Depp's psychiatrist said the actor felt frustration, impatience and anger during his marriage to Amber Heard. Dr. Alan Blaustein, Johnny Depp's former psychiatrist is the next person to take the stand and testify in the Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard defamation trial via video deposition. Blaustein said Depp dealt with anxiety and alcohol and drug abuse, and had felt frustration, impatience and anger during his marriage. He said Depp sent him a text message that described her as, such a pain in the A. The psychiatrist said Depp would break his commitment to staying sober through repeated drug and alcohol consumption. He added that he expressed concern to Depp's use of Adderall, a medication used to treat ADHD, when the actor was not working. Ellen Barkin claimed Johnny Depp threw a wine bottle at her and described the actor as a jealous and controlling man. Actor Ellen Barkin repeated claims that Johnny Depp threw a wine bottle at her in 1998 while they were filming Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Barkin said he was arguing with friends inside his hotel room when he allegedly tossed the bottle at Barkin. Dot Barkin also echoed the claims of other witnesses that he was the jealous type who would be controlling in his relationships. Dot has just a jealous man, Barkin said. Controlling. Asking me, where are you going? Who are you meeting with? She said that Depp had once accused her of sleeping with another man when she suffered cuts to her back. Dot Barkin noted that it was Depp who broke off their relationship. Actor Ellen Barkin takes the stand in Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard defamation trial. Actor Ellen Barkin is the next person to take the stand and testify in the Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard defamation trial via video deposition. Barkin, who co starred with Depp in the 1998 cult classic, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas 
has previously claimed that Depp threw bottles of wine at her when they were She said their friendship turned sexual in 1994 after she moved to California. Barkin claimed Depp was drunk a lot of the time. Depp has denied being in a serious relationship with Barkin and claimed the fellow actor has a grudge against him over the murky relationship status. Barkin's statements about the alleged abuse was used against Depp in 2020, where he unsuccessfully sued The Sun in the UK for describing him as a wife beater. Disney production exec claims there were no discussions within the company to drop Johnny Depp from Pirates of the Caribbean over Amber Heard's op-ed that said she was a victim of domestic sub Tina Newman, a production executive speaking on behalf of the Walt Disney Motion Picture Group, is the next person to take the stand and testify in the Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard defamation trial via video deposition. She said there were no discussions in the company regarding Amber Heard's op-ed article about being a domestic abuse victim. Newman could not comment if Depp would be a part of any future Pirates of the Caribbean project. Michelle Mulrooney, Amber Heard's former attorney, claimed Johnny Depp called her B.H. and was drunk when he fired her from working on the couple's postnuptial agreement. Michelle Mulrooney, Amber Heard's former attorney, is the next person to take the stand and testify in the Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard defamation trial via video deposition. She testified about Heard and Depp's postnuptial agreement that she was drafting, which would have seen the couple split their assets secretly. Mill Rooney claimed that Depp became angry about the proposed agreement and suddenly called her to put an end to it. My recollection is that he was very mean, Mulrooney said. He called me names. And then he fired me on behalf of Amber. He called me a BH I thought he was under the influence. His voice was slurred. Social media forensic expert Ron Chanel said negative tweets about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard totaled more than 2 million amid the couple's dispute, claims Heard saw a large backlash after Depp's attorney, Adam Waldman, allegedly started a smear Ron Chanel. A social media forensic expert, said he analyzed negative tweets about Amber Heard and Johnny Depp between January 2018 and January 2021, which totaled 38 million. The majority of negative tweets against Amber Heard came in April 2020, when Heard accused Johnny Depp's attorney, Adam Waldman, of leaking stories about her online that claimed she was lying about being a victim of domestic abuse. The hashtags targeting Heard included hashtag justice for Johnny Depp, hashtag Amber Heard is an abuser, hashtag Amber Turd, hashtag we just don't like you Amber. The spike for anti-Depp tweets, which included the hashtag hashtag Johnny Depp is a wife beater, only spiked on November 2020, Schnell said. When Depp lost his libel lawsuit against The Sun, which described him as Dot Heard is countersuing Depp for allegedly orchestrating a smear campaign against her to ruin her reputation and career. Dot Ron Chanel, a social media forensic expert, takes the stand in the Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard defamation trial. Ron Chanel, a social media forensic expert, is the next person to take the stand and testify in the Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard defamation trial. He is set to provide his expert opinion on the social media posts allegedly spearheaded by Depp's attorney, Adam Waldman, in a supposed attempt to ruin Heard's reputation and got the testimony follows that of Depp's former talent agent and business manager, who slammed the actor for losing his stardom due to his alcohol and drug addiction and unprofessional behavior. Court takes lunch break. Court has just broken for lunch and will be back at around 1.45 p.m. ESD. A new, live witness will take the stand when the Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard trial resumes. Marie Sadanaga, the domestic violence coordinator for the LAPD, is the next person to testify in the Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard trial. Marie Sadanaga, the domestic violence coordinator for the Los Angeles Police Department, is the next person to testify in the Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard defamation trial via video deposition. The LAPD responded to Depp and Heard's LA penthouse on May 21, 2016 for a domestic violence call, 
but did not determine a crime had been Kurt had not filed a police report against Depp that day where he allegedly beat her. Sadanaga is providing testimony regarding the LAPD's protocol when it comes to responding to domestic violence. Adam Waldman, Johnny Depp's attorney, said his client never hit Amber Heard and claimed she staged a beating on May 21, 2016. Adam Waldman, Johnny Depp's attorney, echoed his claims that his client never injured Amber Heard on May 21, 2016. Dot Heard has claimed that Depp beat her on that day inside his Los Angeles penthouse, hitting her with a phone, punching her face and pulling her hair. Dot Waldman said there were nine witnesses who are neutral, or Heard's own witnesses, who testified that there were no injuries to her face between May 21 to May 27, including, Laura Devenier, Depp's assistant and decorator, Melanie Inglesis, Amber Heard's makeup artist, Hilda Vargas, Depp's housekeeper, Samantha McMillan, the couple's stylist, Isaac Baruch, a close friend of the couple, Trinity Esparza, Depp's concierge, Alejandro Romero, Depp's head of security and Brandon Patrick. These people have specifically given testimony that she was uninjured between May 21st to May 27th and appeared bruised after that. Waldman said that he also admitted to sharing his claims that Heard was allegedly lying about the incident with internet journalists who work outside mainstream news outlets.